If you loved my slow cooked crack chicken, then you're going to go crazy over my slow cooker pulled crack pork. Tender, slow cooked spice, shredded pork, then mixed with a zingy barbecue sauce. He's got budget meals for families, delicious new recipes. Bring your friends over, let's make it and share. It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. Firstly, let's make the dry rub. Into a bowl, add smoked paprika, garlic powder, some cayenne pepper, which gives it a real kick in the taste buds. For some sweetness, I add in some brown sugar, Next, I add in some celery salt, dried mustard powder, and finally, some salt. Mix together well and leave aside for the moment. For the pork, I'm using a shoulder roast. I find it breaks down really well when slow cooked, and it's also a fairly cheap cut, so it makes it very budget friendly. I leave the fat on as well, it will turn gelatinous, and you can't eat it, but it keeps the pork moist. Now rub the seasoning all over the pork, including the fat side. Into the slow cooker, I add chicken stock. This helps with the flavor, but mostly it keeps the pork from drying out. Next, add the pork skin side down. Another tip here for the slow cooker is I always preheat the slow cooker just like a wooden oven. Don't put anything in cold. Now cook this on low for six to eight hours or on high for four to six hours, but depending on the size of your pork and slow cooker. When the pork has around an hour left, start making your sauce. Into a saucepan over a medium heat, add your red bell pepper or capsicum and sweat that down for several minutes. Add in some apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard. Now you could use American mustard, but Dijon is quite mild and there's so many big flavors in this recipe. Adding another punch of fiery mustard is just one step too far in my opinion. Next, add the brown sugar, a pinch of salt, and finally, tomato paste. Mix well for 20 minutes, and then using a hand mixer or blender, puree the mix until smooth. Once the pork is finished, lift off the lid and carefully remove the pork. What is left is all the cooking juices and stock, which is all flavor we wanna keep. Pour the liquid into a strainer, as you don't want any fat or sediment, and keep it aside. Slice the fat off the pork, and place it back into the slow cooker and using forks, start to shred the pork meat. Through this process, gradually add in the cooking juices and finally add the sauce and mix through well. To serve, I toast some brioche buns and heap the shredded pork on top. You can serve this with an apple slaw as well if you want some added texture to the sandwich and it packs so much flavor, it will leave your mouth watering before and after you're finished and we'll have people asking you for the recipe all year long.